the conditions are just super beautiful right now. So the water looks really clear and I wanted to dive down and take a look at the bottom of the reef here at the pipeline, which is literally the most dangerous wave in the world. Well y'all, welcome back. Post Thanksgiving here at the O'Neill House. We, uh, I didn't pick up the camera for a couple days other than when we were cooking the turkey on the Traeger because it was beautiful. And that was the best turkey I honestly have ever had. It was so juicy. When I cut into it after it was done, it looked dry and I got really nervous. And then it was perfect. Did two hours smoking it at 180, one hour smoking it at 225, and then I think two and a half more hours cooking it at 350. It was insane. I had brined it for about 18 hours before that and it came out amazing. Traeger, turkey, all time. Anyway, um, now we're looking at uh, some swell the next couple days. It's been pretty slow. It got slow around Thanksgiving. That was nice for us to have some downtime. And weather got kind of bad and now it looks like it's gotten pretty again. We might get some more wind, but there's gonna be some more fun waves. And then there's a big swell coming and I changed my ticket. I was supposed to leave here in a few days, but now I'm gonna stay for that pipe swell and pretty excited to finally get a barrel before I go home. But between now and then, we got some good waves coming. So uh, there's actually waves today. So I'm gonna go get changed and we'll uh, get to surfing. Oh, also last night I was driving back from Haleiwa. I saw a rainbow in the middle of the night. Has anyone ever seen a rainbow at night? I'd never seen one, didn't know it existed. I was tripping out, full rainbow. Bolted back here to the house, grabbed my camera, came out here onto this deck, hoping to see another one. A rain squall came through, boom, it popped up. I was able to film it at like ISO 25,000 and then took some photos and in hindsight, wish I would have just done a time lapse of the whole thing, but uh, I was just so mesmerized and in awe. I didn't even know that was a thing. And um, yeah, so that was crazy. If anyone out there has ever seen a rainbow at night or a colorful one, I talked to Eric Knutson, um, John John's filmer, and he said he's seen them, but not colorful. They were like kind of monochrome. And this one was bright colors. So if anyone has seen one of those, drop it in the comments where you saw it, when you saw it, and when, what it looked like. But uh, yeah, pretty wild. I didn't even know that was a thing. Anyway, let's uh, go get to ripping.
Yep. That was pretty cool. Today is War Paint Wednesday. We're teaming up with the Maliola Foundation, and uh, purple's the color to represent all our fellow cystic fibrosis patients, the ones who have passed and the ones who are still fighting. So this is for all of you guys out there fighting. We're with you guys, and we love you guys. <laughs> and we got the whole squad go. jumping in. So <laughs> it's even better. Purple patient. exfoliating my skin. Not only are we professional surfers, we take great care of our skin. <laughs> I leave mine on for a little bit longer. It gets deeper into the blackheads. You're gonna have to shave. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I love a serious look. We're going for a swim, y'all. That was pretty rad the other day doing that shoot for War Paint Wednesdays with Eli Olson. He does a lot of work with the Maliola Foundation who works with kids with cystic fibrosis by getting them in the ocean and getting them surfing and doing natural therapies to help them with the disease that they have. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can check out the Maliola Foundation and all that they do for those kids. It's amazing and also give Eli a follow because there's a huge jaw spell coming and he's going over there. So you don't wanna miss that action. So give him a follow, link in the description. Um, now I'm about to go hop in the water. The conditions are just super beautiful right now. So the water looks really clear and I wanted to dive down and take a look at the bottom of the reef here at the pipeline, which is literally the most dangerous wave in the world. But anyway, to go up out there with the GoPro in the G-Dome housing, check out the reef, watch the waves coming in, surfers hanging out, waiting for waves and give you guys just a look um, you, you've seen it from the air, let's go see it from the water. But first, I have to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you guys that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands of courses on things like videography, photography, entrepreneurship, I mean, pretty much classes on anything in life. And it's a great place to go and learn things because you might have an hour and a half or a two or three hour class, but because they're broken down into shorter ad-free videos, it's not that long. You can do it at your leisure and when you're free. And so it's built to be able to fit into your schedule. There's some amazing people that run the classes. And currently I'm about to dive into one that's interesting about how to make your own how-to video. <laughs> it's basically a tutorial on making tutorials. You might be wondering about all these drone shots I've been getting. There's courses on Skillshare for drone specific videography and photography. So check those out. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And if you're enjoying Skillshare, it's less than $10 a month after that. Now, let's go swimming. The only car is the thing is change. There's no such thing as safe for
fun though. Man, the swell's picking up. Getting pretty doubled up and surgy out there. Super dangerous when it's like that, but uh, oh, I'll let you guys go from here. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Stay tuned though, because the swell's picking up and the next couple days is gonna be huge. Should get some good pipeline to finish off the trip. So if you haven't been, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the following episode. And that's you guys know the deal. See y'all next week.